crazy. I feel like I missed something. Who are these people? Hi, little humans, it's Alex Q, and today I'm gonna be revisiting AITA because I got so heated in the last one, I just, I feel like I just need to. People are insane. Sometimes you think that they're gonna be the a-hole and it turns out there's a secret person inside their story that's actually the a-hole and they're justified for whatever a-hole thing that they think they did. So I'm gonna get into another one of these stories that I mentioned before. I hope it surprised me because I was trying to do multiple ones and it turned out that one was enough for me to like rant and like get so mad at Jessica, <laughs> who I do not know but was feeling very passionate about. So let's feel a little bit more passion with some more of these a-hole stories. So this one, that I feel like it's gonna be a small one. That I feel like it's gonna be a small one. It's gonna be a small one. AITA for embarrassing my cousin and getting kicked us out of a restaurant. You heard this one in my last video. I didn't get into details, but let's get into them now. Ooh, Jesus freaking Christ, this one's long. It's gonna be a small one. Okay, as you know, I'm gonna be reading this with an illiterate mind, so beware if you, one, hate my voice, two, hate the gays, three. Okay, I, female, 25, don't have kids yet. I never really wanted them growing up, okay. Okay, let me start over. I, female, 25, don't have kids yet. I never really wanted them growing up, but I figured I'll eventually have kids in the future once I get my life together. Girl, you're already going through it. My cousin Sarah, 29, has two bad behaved kids from a previous relationship and a newborn baby with her new boyfriend, NJ, 40. Okay. Last night, my mother, sister, Sarah, wait, is it your mother, sister, mother, sister, Sarah? Wait, what? Last night, my mother, sister, Sarah? And I, is the sister Sarah? She never, oh, my cousin is Sarah. I'm already failing. Let's start over. Last night, my mother, sister, Sarah, and I went to a sushi restaurant, and this was my first time having sushi. Okay. After we ordered, I had a hard time using chopsticks. My cousin started obnoxiously laughing, the 29-year-old. The waiter came over and asked me if I wanted training wheels, which is a little plastic item that attaches to the chopsticks. Yeah, the ones that kids use. It's totally normal. If you don't know how to use them, it's a good way to get the feeling of chopsticks. The waiter came over and asked me if I wanted training wheels, which is the little plastic item that attaches to the chopsticks and helps you hold them in place. My cousin laughed and said sorry about her. She constantly embarrasses herself and us. I just gave her the side eye and put the training wheels on. Good, because they're important. And also sometimes they're very cute. I mean, you can also just pick up the sushi with your hands. It's not that big of a deal. You don't have to eat with chopsticks if you don't want to. It's really not that deep. People make it seem like it's that big of a deal, but like, do what you want to do. It's a utensil. You choose what you want to do. If you want to eat soup with a spork, that's fine. It's weird, but it's fine. When it was time to order dessert, her boyfriend, MJ, finally joined us, claiming that he was busy. She went on to tell him how stupid and slow I was for not knowing how to use chopsticks and how the waiters and everyone around know that I'm an embarrassment. Who are these people? My mom asked her what her problem was and she goes on a rant about how I'm so embarrassing and it's no wonder I'm jealous of her being a mother and no one wants to have kids with me. This one, this is this is more than just sushi and chopsticks. I feel like I missed something. I finally had enough. I said, I don't want to have kids because I don't want them to come out like your rude pieces of shit. Uh. <laughs> this family's crazy. And you're calling me an embarrassment? Didn't MJ just have a baby on, on you with his wife? <gasps> Wait a minute, did I miss something? Oh no. Oh, she, she buried the lead. MJ is married? Your baby literally has a sibling a week apart from her. You probably learned how to use chopsticks by eating his wife's leftover. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, people are so messy. Wow. 
I guess when she was attacking me, it was fine because everyone turned on me. It got so loud that management had to get involved. Sarah was screaming and crying. MJ was yelling at me and my mom and sister were berating me for being mean. Management brought the bill and told us to please pay it and leave. My mom paid the entire bill, but my sister said I'm the a-hole for embarrassing Sarah and getting us kicked out and how she's probably going through postpartum depression. Postpartum depression doesn't make you a complete jerk. As far as I know, I'm not, I don't, I've never been through it, so forgive me if I am lying. Now, I don't know if I went too far seeing that she's probably going through some post-baby stress. AITA. Okay. Is MJ still married? That's so insane. A week apart. A week apart, is it true? Because if that's the case, wow. <laughs> I'm so curious, female 25, if you're not telling me something, because these people fucking hate you so much. This is insane. I'm just gonna read the update because I literally have no idea what's happening. Update, thank you all for the overwhelming responses. I've been wanting to put Sarah in her place for a while now, and I'm glad I did. However, Sarah's mom got involved and is mad at me. Who cares? Apparently, MJ told Sarah that him and his wife were separating. Sarah found out that he lied because she was secretly stalking his wife's Facebook page and got a shock of her life when the wifey posted a newborn baby and MJ was there for the birth. Whoa. Sarah did the math and realized he got both of them pregnant the week of his birthday. She confronted him and he confirmed it. He also said that she'll have to get over it or he'll leave. Good, let him leave. So she stayed and now is constantly in shambles. Not my problem, not mine either, girl. Now onto the problem. I mean, this whole thing is a problem. She kept the wife's baby a secret and only told her mom, who told my mom, who told my sister and I. So they said that they were pissed because I wasn't supposed to repeat it. But I didn't know it was classified information after like a week. Regardless of if it's classified or not, if you come at somebody's throat, you better protect your neck because it's not fair that you can say whatever you want. You can't act froggy and expect no one else to leave. Sarah's mom, my aunt, reached out to me this morning and she said that Sarah's problem with me is that I always said I don't like kids and only a horrible person won't like kids and that I was mean to her about her kids two months ago. Who cares? You cannot like kids and appreciate them growing up to be an adult. You're allowed to not want something in your house. The same way you don't want a pet because the hair gets everywhere. I know kids aren't pets, but they're very close to them. Instead, you have to send them to school, so they're more expensive, so. So, sorry about your kids. Two months ago, she wanted to go to a party with MJ and asked me to watch her kids. Nine, nine, all three of them for free. I told her no, because they're untrained. <laughs> Good job. I don't feel comfortable watching a newborn. A newborn girl, stay home, girl. I feel like everybody knew about this kid. I don't feel comfortable watching a newborn and she'll have to pay me to put up with the other two. So I guess that was why she's still holding grudges. You can't be mad at anybody but you, because you had them. Regardless, Sarah's mom said she was having a really hard time after finding out about the outside baby who technically is the inside baby, as Sarah's baby is the outside baby, but whatever. And she wants me to apologize for putting her business out there for everyone. There was nobody there who didn't know already, though. Everybody in the table knew, as far as I know. This very confusing story. She got my mom and sister involved, so I just called Sarah and apologized. No. She said, I don't care what you have to say and hung up. No. You fell for it, girl. Regardless, I helped up my end of the bargain. You didn't even have to play. Hopefully this gets blown over soon because your girl is tired. So are we. You should have just never called her back. You should have just put her in her place and left it at that. You didn't need to apologize for anything because the girl was out of line in the first place. So you could have just had the up and up and been like, let her think about you. Now she's just sitting at home pleased with her miserable kids being miserable with her husband. Actually, it's not her husband. It's her. You were funny. You have a very bad family. <laughs> you should never talk to them again. But you do you because it's your life and I'm not here to tell you about what you should do. What I am here to say is Sarah's bad. Your mom's bad. Your sister's pretty bad. 
MJ's bad. And her aunt, your aunt, bad. The only person who's innocent here is probably MJ's wife that he never left but decided to have multiple babies. Anyway, if you guys wanna hear more videos like this, please let me know by liking this video, commenting below, subscribing to my channel, sharing it with your friends, and staying off Reddit because it's crazy. <laughs> Just remember you guys, your smile is infectious. Have a great day. Uh, bye.